Let's pray. Father, what a blessing that it is to come before you, to unite in fellowship, to understand, Father, that uh, you're in control. And while the world seems in some ways to be out of control, it's all converging together. And we're thankful, Father, for the fact that we can depend upon you. Thank you, Father, for Abigail, uh, the new addition to our church and David and Jamie's family. Pray that you would just bless that young child, Father, that uh, she would grow in spirit and in truth. And bless her parents, Father, that are special to us. Bless this time, Father, that we get to learn about you. Pray for Pastor Rick that you would encourage and strengthen him each and every day as he's been called to be a, a shepherd father of a flock. Bless our church, our, our worship, that you would receive it, Father, from our hearts because we love you. Bless again this time that you've given us in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this morning it is Green Sunday. Yeah, not very many people have green on, but that's okay. I wore green. He did. Yeah. Um, Pastor Rick, well, kind of. I won't tell you where his green is. Um, but after church, uh, we'll have a time of fellowship. We'll have a time of fellowship and uh, food, green food. I don't know what that means, but, you know, stick around and partake of some of it. Um, so today is Green Sunday, a good time of fellowship as well. Next Sunday is the Uplifting Prayer Sunday, and um, it's a special Sunday because God calls us uh, to be in prayer over everything. And so what a great opportunity for the body to come together and pray. Um, if you um, have not been to it, um, I would encourage you to stick around and stay and pray. That's um, kind of our motto, right? Um, would say to you that uh, March 26th, which is next um, Saturday, there is a fundraiser in a Messianic um, Jewish congregation in Corona. Uh, it's for the Holocaust Remembrance Foundation. Starts at four o'clock, and so we'll be raising some money for uh, uh, the Holocaust Remembrance Memorial. And if you want more information, um, please see me, and I'll share that with you. God's called us to be prayer warriors, right? So we need to be in prayer, and we pray for our government um, consistently. We pray for Israel's government. Um, we should be praying for Ukrainian Christians. Um, and so God has called us to be prayer warriors. How you doing, Austin? Hi. Um, so we want to make sure that, um, that we... Keep in front of the Lord those things that are on our hearts. So let's pray for America. Let's pray for Israel. Let's pray for the Ukrainian Christians. Lord, you're God. There is no other. We're thankful, Father, that you have given us the opportunity to commune with you um, through speaking to you and putting our praise and petitions before you. We pray for this church that we would be called to do your will and be obedient, Father. And I pray even today that conviction would fall upon our hearts. I pray, Father, for the United States government. I pray specifically for our leaders that as they make decisions, that those decisions be, would be in accordance to your will and purpose. I pray for Maryland, Father, the um, desire for them to have a, the most um, idiotic abortion law. I pray against it in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, that you would do just a great work uh, in this country at the state level, Father, at the federal level, that uh, we would once again turn our hearts and our, our, our lives to you, Father. Pray for Israel. Pray for the leadership that they would be um, seeking after you, their Messiah. And while many of them don't know who you are, Father, I just pray for a softened heart for some that they would come into a knowledge of Jesus. And we do pray for Ukrainian Christians, Father, that you would touch them, embolden them, and, and keep them safe, even miraculously, Father. And we pray for the Ukrainians that are leaving the, um, their country, that you would put a hedge of protection about them. And we pray, Father, that many would come to know you. Lord, above all, help us to seek your face individually and collectively, that we would hear you, 
have the gift of discernment that when you call us to go and be a bold witness that we would be able to do that. Bless us to be a blessing in Jesus' name, amen.